Blessed is the kingdom of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, now and forever, and to the ages of ages. Amen. Come, let us worship God, our King, and bow down before him. Come, let us worship Christ, God, our King, and bow down before him. Come, let us worship Christ, our King, and our God, and bow down before him. Bless the Lord, O my soul, O Lord, my God, you are great indeed, clothed in pomp and brilliance, arrayed with light as with a cloak, stretching out the sky as a tent cloth, establishing your lofty halls on the water. You make the clouds your conveyance, you search the wings of the wind, you make the winds your messengers and flaming fire your attendants. You settle the earth on its foundation, it shall stand unmoved from age to age. The abyss covered it like a garment, the water stood about the mountains. At your rebuke they take to flight, at the peal of your thunder they flee. They hurdle the hills and run down to the dales to the places where you have chosen for them. You have set up a boundary not to be passed, they shall never return to cover the earth. Down in the gullies you make springs to rise. Water shall flow between the mountains. They shall give drink to the beasts of the field. Wild donkeys will seek them to quench their thirst. The birds of the sky shall abide by them. From among the rocks they will raise their song. <coughs> From your lofty halls you refresh the hills. The earth shall be fed with the fruit of your works. You make green pastures for the cattle and food plants for the service of man, so that bread may be drawn from the earth and wine that gladdens the heart of man, so that oil may put a gleam on his face and that bread may strengthen the heart of man. The trees of the plain shall, shall be satisfied, the cedars of Lebanon that he planted. Sparrows shall build their nests in them, heron shall call them their home. To the deer belong the high mountains, to the rodents the shelter of the rock. You have made the moon to mark the seasons, the sun knows the time of its setting. You establish darkness and it is night, wherein the forest creatures prowl. Young lions roar for their prey and call out to God for their meat. As the sun rises, they will come together and lay themselves down in their dens. Man will go out to his labor and to his work until eventide. <clears throat> How great are your works, O Lord! In wisdom you have wrought them all. The earth is filled with your creatures, even the wide and open sea. Within it are countless creeping things, living beings small and large. Upon it there are ships assailing, and the great beast you made to have fun. All of them look to you, and you give them their food in due season. You provide, and they gather up. You open your hands, and they are full. You hide your face, and they cringe. You suspend their breath, and they die and return to their dust. You send forth your breath, and they live, and you renew the face of the earth. May the Lord's glory endure forever. May the Lord rejoice in his works. He looks upon the earth and it makes it quake. It touches the mountains and they smoke. I will sing to the Lord as long as I live. I will praise my God as long as I laugh. Last, <clears throat> would that my thoughts be pleasing to him and I will rejoice in the Lord. May the sinners ba vanish from the earth and the wicked be no more. Bless the Lord, O my soul. The sun knows the time of its setting. You establish darkness and it, it is night. How great are your works, O Lord, in wisdom you have wrought them all. Glory to the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit, both now and forever and to the ages of ages. Amen. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. Glory to your God. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. Glory to your God. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. Glory to you, O God, our hope, O Lord. Glory to you. In peace, let us pray to the Lord. For heavenly peace and the salvation of our souls, let us pray to the Lord. For peace in the whole world, the stability of God's holy churches, and for the oneness of all, let us pray to the Lord. For this holy house and for all who enter it with faith, reverence, and godly fear, let us pray to the Lord. For our Archbishop Gerasimus, the honorable priest to the deacons in Christ, and for all the clergy and the people, let us pray to the Lord. For our country, for the president, for all in public service, and for the armed forces, let us pray to the Lord. For this city and this parish, for every city and land, and for the faithful who live in them, let us pray to the Lord. 
For temperate weather, abundance of the goods of the earth, and for peaceful times, let us pray to the Lord. For those who travel by land, sea, and air, for those who are sick or suffering, or in captivity, and for their safekeeping, let us pray to the Lord. For deliverance from all affliction, wrath, danger, and distress, and from the peril of the coronavirus against us, let us pray to the Lord. For our brethren, those who lead the fight against the coronavirus, the doctors, the medical workers, and the scientists, let us pray to the Lord. Help us, save us, have mercy on us, and keep us, O God, by your grace. Remembering our most holy, pure, blessed, and glorious Lady, the Theotokos, and ever Virgin Mary, with all the saints, let us commend ourselves and one another in our whole life to Christ our God. To you, o Lord. Gracious and merciful Lord, forbearing and generous in mercy, hear our prayer and heed the voice of our entreaty. Give us a sign of your favor, lead us in your way that we may walk in your truth. Gladden our hearts that we may be in awe of your holy name, for you are great in the wonders you perform. You alone are God, and among all deities, none is your like. O Lord, mighty in mercy and benevolent in might, helping and comforting and saving all those who trust in your holy name. For all glory, honor, and worship are your due, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, now and forever and to the ages of ages. Amen. In my distress, I cried out to the Lord, and he answered me. O oh Lord, save me from lying lips and from a treacherous tongue. What shall be given to you, and what more shall be done to you, you deceitful tongue? The sharpened arrows of a warrior with firebrands made of the broom tree. Woe is me that my exile has been so long, that I set up a tent in the camp of Kedar. Too long have I stayed among those who hate peace. I was peaceable, but when I spoke to them, they warred against me without cause. I lifted up my eyes to the hills. Whence help shall come to me? My help is from the Lord who made heaven and earth. He will not suffer your foot to stumble, nor shall the guardian fall asleep. Behold, he will neither sleep nor slumber, the watcher over Israel. The Lord will keep watch over you. The Lord is your shade at your right hand. The sun shall not scorch you by day, nor shall the moon fail you by night. The Lord will preserve you in, from every evil. The Lord will safeguard your life. The Lord will guard your coming and your going henceforth and forevermore. I was happy when they said to me, let us go to the house of the Lord. Our st feet stood within your courts, Jerusalem, Jerusalem, built as a city whose people are as one. For there did the tribes go up, the tribes of the Lord, as it was decreed to Israel to give thanks to the name of the Lord, for there has been placed thrones for judgment, thrones for the house of David. Pray then for the peace of Jerusalem, and may prosperity be with those who love you. May peace be within your walls, and prosperity upon your towers. For the sake of my brethren and my friends, and I have indeed asked peace for you. For the sake of the house of the Lord our God, I have earnestly sought your good. I have lifted up my eyes to you who dwell in heaven, as the eyes of the servants are on the hands of their masters, as the eyes of a maid are on the hands of her mistress, so our eyes are on the Lord our God until he has mercy on us. Have mercy on us, O Lord, have mercy on us, for we have had more than our fill of contempt. Yes, our soul has been more than glutted. May disgrace fall on the prosperous and contempt on the proud. Had not the Lord been with us, let Israel now say, had not the Lord had been with us at the time men rose against us, truly they would have swallowed us alive when their fury was inflamed against us. Truly the waters would have drowned us, the torrents would have swept over us. Truly the raging waters would have overwhelmed us. Blessed be the Lord who has not abandoned us as a prey to their teeth. Like the bird of a passage, we were rescued from the fowler's net. The snare was torn asunder and we escaped. Our help is in the name of the Lord who made heaven and earth. Glory to the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit, both now and forever and to the ages of ages. Amen. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. Glory to you, God. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. Glory to you, God. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. Glory to you, God. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Glory to the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. 
Again and again in peace, let us pray to the Lord. Help us, save us, have mercy on us, and keep us, O God, in your grace. Remembering our most holy, pure, blessed, and glorious Lady, the Theotokos and ever-Virgin Mary with all the saints, let us commend ourselves and one another and our whole life to Christ our God. O oh Lord, do not rebuke us in your anger, do not chastise us in your wrath, but deal with us according to your loving kindness, as healer and physician of our souls. Guide us to the harbor of your will, enlighten the eyes of our hearts that we may know your truth, and grant that the rest of this day may be peaceful and without sin, as may our whole life through the prayers of the Theotokos and of all the saints. For yours is the dominion and yours the kingdom and the power and the glory of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit, now and forever and to the ages of ages. Amen. Those who trust in the Lord are like Mount Zion, which cannot be moved, which shall stand forever. Mountains are all around Jerusalem, as the Lord is around his people now and forever. For the Lord will not let the scepter of the wicked rule over the land of the just, lest the just themselves apply their hands to iniquities. Do good, O Lord, to those who do good and to those whose heart is upright. But those who stray into the crooked ways, the Lord will expel with evildoers. Peace upon Israel. When the Lord returned the captives of Zion, we were like men dreaming. Then our mouths was filled with laughter and our tongue with rejoicing. Then it was said among the Gentiles, the Lord has done great things for them. The Lord has done great things for us. We have been made to rejoice. O oh Lord, return our captives as streams return to the south. Those who reap, weep as they sow shall rejoice as they reap. Though they went forth shedding their tears as they scatter their seeds, they shall return rejoicing, bearing with them their sheaves. Unless the Lord build the house, in vain do the builders toil. Unless the Lord guard the city, in vain do the watchmen keep watch. In vain do you rise early. You get up after rest only to eat the bread of grief. For he provides for his beloved while they sleep. Behold, the Lord's inheritance is in his children, in his reward the fruit of the womb. As arrows in the hand of the mighty warrior, so are the children of the exiles. Blessed is the one who shall be able to fulfill his quiver with them, and they shall never be put to shame when they shall meet their foes at the gates. Blessed are all who fear the Lord, who walks in his ways. You shall eat of your hand's labor. Blessed are you, and it shall be well with you. Your wife shall be like a fruitful vine in the recesses of your house, your children like olive shoots around your table. Behold, in this way shall be blessed the man who fears the Lord. May the Lord bless you from Zion, and may you see the wealth of Jerusalem all the days of your life. And may you see your children's children peace upon Israel. Often they have assailed me since my youth, let Israel say it. Often they have assailed me since my youth, but they have not prevailed over me. The wicked plowed my back, they increased their iniquity, but the righteous Lord has cut asunder the neck of the sinners. Let them all be confounded and turned back who hate Zion. Let them all become like grass on the housetops which withers before it can sprout, with, with which the reaper fills not his hand, nor the binder of sheaves his arms, while those who pass by do not say, the blessing of the Lord be upon you. We have blessed you in the name of the Lord. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and always, and to the ages of ages. Amen. Alleluia, 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 glory to your God. Alleluia, 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 glory to your God. Alleluia, 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 glory to your God. Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. O oh Lord our God, be mindful of us sinners and your unfit servants, even as we call upon your holy name. And do not put us to shame for having placed our hope in your mercy, but grant, O oh Lord, all that we ask for our salvation. And make us worthy to love and to fear you with all our heart and in all things to do your will. 
ότι αγαθός και φιλάνθρωπος Θεός υπάρχεις και εσύ την δόξα να αναπέμπομεν το Πατρί και το Υιό και το Αγίο Πνεύματι, νυν και αή και εις τους αιώνας των αιώνων. Αμήν, both now and forever and to the ages of ages, amen. Out of the depths I have cried out to you, Lord, Lord, hear my voice. Let your ears be attentive to the voice of my plea. If you retain sins, Lord, O Lord, who can stand? With you there is forgiveness. For your name's sake, O Lord, I have waited for you. My soul has waited for your promise. My soul has hoped in the Lord. My soul has trusted in the Lord from the morning watch till night. Let Israel hope in the Lord, for with the Lord there is steadfast love, and in him is full of redemption, and he will redeem Israel from all his iniquities. O Lord, my heart is not uplifted, nor are my eyes upraised. I have not busied myself with lofty pursuits, nor with wonders too great for me. I have failed to remain humble, but instead have exalted my soul. As a weaned child is treated by its mother, so will you deal with my soul. Let Israel hope in the Lord henceforth and forevermore. O Lord, remember David and all his forbearance, how he swore to the Lord and made a vow to the God of Jacob. I will not enter the tent, my abode, nor get up on my couch of my repose. I will give no sleep to my eyes, nor to my eyelids any slumber, nor to my temples any rest until I find a place for the Lord, a tabernacle for the God of Jacob. Behold, I have heard of it in Ephrathah. We found it in the forest clearings. Let us enter into his tabernacles. Let us worship where his feet once stood. Arise, O Lord, and go to your rest, you and you the ark of your holiness. May your priests be clothed with righteousness, and your faithful ones rejoice. For the sake of David, your servants, turn not away the face of your anointed one. The Lord swore to David a promise which he will not retract. One of their own flesh I will place on your throne. If your sons will keep my covenant and the revelations I will offer them, their sons also shall be seated upon your throne forevermore. For the Lord has elected Zion. He has chosen it for his dwelling. This is my home forever and ever. Here I will dwell because I have chosen it. I will bless abundantly her provisions. I will feed her poor with bread. I will clothe her priests with salvation, and the faithful shall exult with joy. There I will raise the pride of David. I have readied a lamp for my anointed one. I will clothe his enemies with shame, but on him my crown shall shine. Behold how good and pleasant it is for brothers to dwell in unity. It is as ointment upon the head which runs down over the beard. The beard of Aaron runs down to the hem of his garment. It is like the dew of Hermon which falls on the mountains of Zion. For there the Lord has ordained the blessing, life forevermore. Behold now, bless the Lord, all you servants of the Lord, who stand in the house of the Lord in the courts of the house of our God. By night, lift up your hands to the holy place and bless the Lord. May the Lord who made heaven and earth bless you out of Zion. Glory to the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit, both now and forever and to the ages of ages. Amen. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. Glory to you, God. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. Glory to you, God. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. Glory to you, God, Lord, our hope, glory to you. Again and again in peace, let us pray to the Lord. Help us, save us, have mercy on us, and keep us, O God, in your grace. Remembering our most holy, pure, blessed, and glorious Lady, the Theotokos and ever-Virgin Mary, with all the saints, let us commend ourselves and one another in our whole life to Christ our God. To you, o Lord. Praised by the heavenly powers with hymns that are never silent and doxologies that never cease, fill our lips with praise of you that we may fitly magnify your holy name and grant to us a portion and a share with all who truly fear you and keep your commandments at the intercessions of the Holy Theotokos and of all the saints. For you are our God, the God who shows mercy and saves us, and to you we offer up glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, now and forever and to the ages of ages. Amen. <coughs>
its own defeat and might clearly feel the total destruction which I shall effect while granting great mercy to the world. If you retain sins, Lord, O oh Lord, who can stand with you? There is forgiveness. Faithful, emulating Martha and Mary, let us ascend as ambassadors to the Lord. Godly he works, that in coming he may resurrect our spirit, lying in the tombs, utterly a dead of neglect, lacking all sense of godly fear, bereft of life, giving strength, and so cry, Behold, Lord, as you once raised up your friend Lazarus, O merciful one, in your awesome dominion, so make us also alive, granting us your great mercy. Because of your law, Lord, I waited for you. My soul waited for your word. My soul hopes in the Lord. Lazarus has been in the tomb for two days. He sees the dead from the beginning of time. He gazes at strange and frightening sights, at a countless multitude being held prisoner in the bonds of Hades. Therefore do his sisters lament bitterly as they look at his tomb. But Christ is coming to bring his friend back to life so that with one voice everyone might say, Blessed are you, O Savior, have mercy on us. From the morning watch until night, from the morning watch until night, let Israel hope in the Lord. Epsichios, the very wise, was struck and executed with a broadsword, and caused the vain and arrogant oppressor to feel a sense of great shame. Therefore he was numbered with the heavenly armies, and he felt a sense of greatest joy. O oh, Savior, we entreat you to grant us all great mercy at the request of your sin. For with the Lord there is mercy, and with him is abundant redemption, and he shall redeem Israel from all his transgressions. Ezekiel, the very wise, was struck and executed with a broadsword, and caused that vain and arrogant oppressor to feel the sense of greatest shame. Therefore he was numbered with the heavenly armies, and he felt a sense of greatest joy. O Savior, we entreat you, grant to all of us your great mercy at the request of your saints. Praise the Lord, all you Gentiles, praise, praise him, Lord, all Lord, you Lord, his peoples. Epsichios, the glorious pillar, became a pillar of the church and tower of orthodoxy, sturdy and unshaken. And a destroyer of the foe, like a fountain he pours out to all the sick, cures and healings when they turn to him with faith. O oh, loving Lord, we pray you, grant to us all great mercy at the request of your 
mercy rules over us, and the truth of the Lord abides forever. O martyr, like a lily, you have sweetened every mind with fragrant perfume of your martyric feats. O brave and wise saint, and you reduce the awful stench of deceptive error. And you brilliantly shone forth like another sun throughout the world, and now you intercede that great mercy and salvation be granted to all. Glory to, to the, the Father, and the Son, uh, and the Holy, Holy Spirit, Spirit, both now and forever, and unto the ages of ages. Amen. A pure Bless one who gave birth to Satanatu patros uranio agiu makaros Isu Christel thontes epitini liu disin I thontes fosses perinon Im numen patera ion Ke aion pnef matheon Axion se pan pasi keris Im niste fonesis ies I etheus o ino didus Dio cosmos Proclaim an unfourth tone, Psalm 114. I will be pleasing to the Lord in the land of the living. I am glad, for the Lord will hear my plea. Let us be attentive. The reading is from Genesis. Wisdom, let us be attentive. When Joseph came home, they brought into the house to him the present which they had with him and bowed down to him to the ground. And he inquired about their welfare and said, Is your father well, the old man of whom you spoke? Is he still alive? They said, Your servant, our father, is well. He is still alive. And they bowed their heads and made obeisance. And he lifted up his eyes and saw his brother Benjamin, his mother's son, and said, is this your youngest brother of whom you spoke to me? God be gracious to you, my son. Then Joseph made haste, for his heart yearned for his brother, and he sought a place to weep. And he entered his chamber and wept there. Then Joseph could not control himself before all those who stood by him, and he cried, Make everyone go out from me. So no one stayed with him when Joseph made himself known to his brothers. And he wept out loud so that the Egyptians heard it and the household of Pharaoh heard it. And Joseph said to his brothers, I am Joseph. Is my father still alive? But his brothers could not answer him for they were dismayed at his presence. So Joseph said to his brothers, come, to, come near to me, I pray you. And they came near. And he said, I am your brother Joseph, whom you sold into Egypt. 
And now do not be distressed or angry with yourselves because you sold me here. For God sent me before you to preserve your life. For the famine has been in the land these two years, and there are yet five years in which there will be neither plowing nor harvest. And God sent me before you to preserve the you and the remnant on earth and to keep alive for your many survivors. So it was not you who sent me here, but God. And he made a father to Pharaoh and a lord of all his house and a ruler over all the land of Egypt. Make haste and go up to my father and say to him, Thus said your son Joseph, God has made me lord of all, over all Egypt. Come down to me, do not tarry. You shall dwell in the land of Goshen, and you shall be near to me, you and your children and your children's children, your flocks, your herds, and all that you have. And there I will provide for you, for there are yet five years of famine to come, lest you and your household and all that you have come to poverty. And now your eyes see, and the eyes of my brother Benjamin see, it is my mouth that speaks to you. You must tell my father of all my splendor in Egypt and of all that you have seen. Make haste and bring my father down here. Then he fell upon his brother Benjamin's neck and wept. And Benjamin wept upon his neck, and he kissed all his brothers and wept upon them. And after that, his brothers talked with him. When the report was heard in Pharaoh's house, Joseph's brothers have come. It has pleased Pharaoh and his servants well. For Kemen under the fourth tone, Psalm 115, I will fulfill my vows to the Lord in the presence of all his people. I believed, wherefore I have spoken, but I was direly afflicted. Proverbs. Let us be attentive. He who keeps his mouth and his tongue keeps himself out of trouble. Scoffer is the name of the proud, haughty man who acts with arrogant pride. The desire of the sluggard kills him, for his hands refuse to labor. All day long the wicked covets, but the righteous gives and does not hold back. The sacrifice of the wicked is an abomination. How much more when he brings it with evil intent? A false witness will perish, but the word of a man who hears will endure. A wicked man puts on a bold face, but an upright man considers his ways. No wisdom, no understanding, no counsel can avail against the Lord. The horse is made ready for the day of battle, but the victory belongs to the Lord. A good name is to be chosen rather than great riches, and favor is better than silver or gold. The rich and the poor meet together. The Lord is the maker of them all. A prudent man sees danger and hides himself, but the simple go on and suffer for it. The reward of the, of the, for humility and fear of the Lord is riches and honor and life. Peace be to you, the reader. Please kneel. to the voice of my prayer when I cry unto you. Hear me, O Lord. Let my prayer arise in your sight as incense and let the lifting up of my hands be
guard over my mouth, O Lord. Keep watch over the door of my lips. Do not incline my heart to any evil, to busy myself with wicked days. Let my prayer arise in your sight as incense, and let the lifting up of my hands be To the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit. Both now and forever and to the ages of ages. Amen. Let us say with our whole heart and with our whole mind, let us say. Lord Almighty, the God of our fathers, we pray to you, hear us and have mercy. Have mercy on us, O God, in your great goodness, we pray to you, hear us and have mercy. Again, we pray for pious and orthodox Christians. Again, we pray for our Archbishop Yerasimo. O Lord our God, accept this fervent prayer by your servants and have mercy on us, and in the abundance of your compassion have pity on us and on all your people who await your plenteous mercy. For you are a merciful and loving God, and to you we give glory, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, now and forever into the ages of ages. Amen. You who are catechumens, pray to the Lord. You faithful, let us pray for the catechumens, that the Lord will show them mercy, that he will instruct them in the word of his truth, that he will reveal to them the gospel of righteousness, that he will unite them to his holy Catholic and apostolic church. Save them, help them, have mercy on them, and keep them, O God, in your grace. You who are catechumens, bow your heads to the Lord. O God, our God, the author and creator of all things, it is your will that all should be saved and come to the knowledge of the truth. Look upon your servants, the catechumens, and free them of ancient error and from the wiles of the enemy. Call them to eternal life, illuminating their souls and bodies, and numbering them among your reasoning flock, on which your holy name is invoked. That with us they too may glorify your most noble and majestic name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit, now and forever and to the ages of ages. Amen. 
All catechumens depart, the catechumens depart. All who are admitted for illumination depart. Pray all you who are preparing for illumination. Let us pray to the Lord. All you faithful for our brethren being made ready for holy illumination and for their salvation, let us pray to the Lord. That the Lord God will confirm and strengthen them, let us pray to the Lord. That he will enlighten them with the light of understanding and piety, let us pray to the Lord. That he will make them worthy at a fitting time of the bath of rebirth, of remission of their sins in the garment of incorruption, let us pray to the Lord. That he will render them born again by water and the Spirit, let us pray to the Lord. That he will endow them with perfect faith, let us pray to the Lord. That he will number them among his holy and chosen flock, let us pray to the Lord. Save them, have mercy on them, help them, and keep them, O God, in your grace. You who are admitted for illumination, bow your heads to the Lord. O Master, let the light of your countenance shine on those who are being made ready for holy illumination and who yearn to thrust aside the defilement of sin. Illumine their minds, confirm them in the faith, sustain them in their hope, perfect them in love, make them precious members of your Christ who gave himself as a ransom for our souls. For you are our illumination, and to you we offer glory, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, now and forever and to the ages of ages. Amen. All who are admitted for illumination depart. Those who are for baptism depart. Catechumens depart. Let none of the catechumens remain. All we faithful once again in peace. Let us pray to the Lord. And the love of our son, the 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 Sophia. O God, great and praised through the life-giving death of your Christ, you have borne us from corruption to immortality. Liberate all our senses from killing passions, setting over them as a benevolent sovereign our inner reason. Let the eye be averted from every evil sight. Let the ear be deaf to idle talk. May the tongue be purged of unseemly speech. Purify these lips that praise you, Lord. Make our hands abstain from wicked deeds, doing only such things as are pleasing to you, thus sealing with your grace all our members and our mind. For all glory, honor, and worship are your due, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, now and forever into the ages of ages. Amen. Again and again in peace, let us pray to the Lord. Help us, save us, have mercy on us, and keep us, O God, in your grace. Wisdom. Holy Master, infinitely good, we entreat you, rich in mercy, to be gracious to us sinners and to make us worthy to receive your only Son and our God, the King of glory. For behold, his spotless body and life-giving blood are about to make their entrance at this hour to be laid on this mystical table invisibly attended by a multitude of the heavenly host. Grant that we may receive them in blameless communion, so that as the eyes of our understanding see the light, we may become children of light and of the day. Through the gift of your Christ, with whom you are blessed, together with your all holy good and life-giving spirit, now and forever into the ages of ages.
divine blessings with pure conscience, faces, faces unblushing, hearts enlightened, and being quickened by them, we, be, we may be united to your Christ himself, our true God. For he said, he that eats my flesh and drinks my blood abides in me and I in him. Having your word and dwelling and moving within us, we may thus become the temple of your all holy and worshipful spirit, free of every wile of the evil one affecting our acts, our words, our thoughts, and so obtain the blessings promised to us as to your saints who have pleased you throughout the ages. Let us complete our evening prayer to the Lord. For the precious gifts here set forth and pre-sanctified, let us pray to the Lord. That our loving God, having received them at his holy and mystical and celestial altar as his sweet spiritual fragrance, will in turn send down upon us his divine grace and the gift of the Holy Spirit. Let us pray. That we may be spared from all affliction, violence, danger, and want. Let us pray to the Lord. Help us, save us, have mercy on us, and keep us, O God, in your grace. That this whole evening may be perfect, holy, peaceful, and without sin, let us ask of the Grant Lord. This, o Lord. For an angel of peace, a faithful guide, a guardian of our souls and bodies, let us ask the Lord. Grant this, o Lord. For forgiveness of our sins and offenses, let us ask the Lord. Grant this, o Lord. All that is good and profitable for our souls and for peace in the world, let us ask the Lord. Grant this, o Lord. That we may live out our lives in peace and repentance, let us ask of the Lord. This, o Lord. For a Christian end to our lives, peaceful, free of suffering and shame, and for a good defense at the awesome judgment seat of Christ, let us ask. Grant this, o Lord. Having prayed for the unity of the faith and for the communion of the Holy Spirit, let us commend ourselves and one another and our whole life to Christ our God. To you, o Lord. 
que canta axios animais desputa metaparisia se cata critos tolman epicaliste seto ne puranion theon patera que legi aterimon o entis uranis aias tito tonomasu el fetu vasiliasu ienithito to telimasu o asnura no que epitisius tonar tonimon tonipiusion Dos simin simiron, ke afe simin to afe lima taimon, os ke mi sa fia mentis filetis simon, ke mi senengi simas suspiras mon, ala ri simas apta poniru. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from the evil one. For yours is the kingdom and the power and the glory of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit, now and forever into the ages of ages. Amen. Peace be with all of you. And with your spirit. Let us bow our heads to the Lord. God, you alone are compassionate and good, dwelling on high, yet looking upon the lowly. Regard your people with tender eye and safeguard them. Count us all worthy to partake without reproach of these your life-giving mysteries, for it is to you that we bow our heads in the hope of your rich mercy. Through the grace, mercy, and love for us of your only begotten Son, with whom you are blessed, together with your all-holy good and life-giving spirit, now and forever, and to the ages of ages. Amen. O Lord Jesus Christ, hear us from your holy dwelling place and from the throne of the glory of your kingdom, and come to sanctify us, though enthroned with the Father on high, yet present here in our midst. Unseen, deign by your mighty hand to give us a share of your pure body and precious blood, and through us to all your people. Proscomen, the pre-sanctified holy gifts for the holy people of God. One is holy, one is Lord, Jesus Christ, to the glory the of God, God the Father. I believe and confess, Lord, that you are truly the Christ, the Son of the living God, who came into the world to save sinners, of whom I am the first. I also believe that this is truly your pure body and that this is truly your precious blood. Therefore, I pray to you, have mercy upon me and forgive my transgressions, voluntary and involuntary, in word and deed, in knowledge or in ignorance, and make me worthy without condemnation to partake of your pure mysteries for the remission of sins and for eternal life. Amen. Behold, I approach for divine communion. O oh, make her burn me not as I partake. For you are the fire consuming the unworthy, but cleanse me from every stain. O oh, Son of God, receive me today as a partaker of your mystical supper. For I will not speak of the mystery to your enemies, nor will I give you a kiss as did Judas. But like the thief I confess to you, remember me, Lord, in your kingdom. Tremble, O man, as you behold the divine blood. It is a burning coal that sears the unworthy. The body of God both deifies and nourishes me. It deifies the spirit and wondrously nourishes the mind. You have smitten me with yearning, O Christ, and by your divine arrows you have changed me. But burn up with spiritual fire my sins and grant me to be filled with delight in you so that, that leaping for joy, I may magnify, O oh, good one, your two comings. 
how shall I, who am unworthy, enter into the splendor of your saints? If I should dare to enter into the bridal chamber, my vesture will condemn me, since it is not a wedding garment, and being bound up, I shall be cast out by the angels. Cleanse, O Lord, the filth of my soul, and save me, as you are the one who loves mankind. In your love, Lord, cleanse my soul and save me. Master who loves mankind, Lord Jesus Christ, my God, let not these holy gifts be to my judgment, because I am unworthy, but rather for the purification and sanctification of both soul and body, and the pledge of the life and the kingdom to come. It is good for me to cling unto God and to place in him the hope of my salvation. O Son of God, receive me today as a partaker of your mystical supper, for I will not speak of the mystery to your enemies, nor will I give you a kiss as did Judas, but like the thief I confess to you, remember me, Lord, in your kingdom. With the fear of God, faith and love draw near. So, so no theos ton laon su kev logison tinklironomian su. Save, O God, your people, 
and bless your inheritance. And I will bless the Lord at all times, his praise shall ever be on my lips. Taste the heavenly bread and the cup of life, and see how the Lord is good. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. Always, now, and forever, and to the ages of ages. Amen. Arise, let us be attentive, having partaken of the divine, holy, pure, immortal, life-giving in us the mysteries of Christ. Let us worthily give thanks to the Lord. Help us, save us, have mercy on us, and keep us, O God, in your grace. Having asked that this holy evening may be perfect, holy, peaceful, and sinless, let us commit ourselves and one another in our whole life to Christ our God. To you, O Lord. For you are our sanctification, and to you we give the glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and forever, and to the ages of ages. Amen. Let us depart in peace. Let us pray to the Lord. Almighty Lord, you have created all things in wisdom. In your inexpressible providence and great goodness, you have brought us to these saving days for the cleansing of our souls and bodies, for control of our passions, in the hope of the resurrection. After the 40 days you delivered into the hands of your servant Moses, the tablets of the law in characters divinely traced, enable us also, O benevolent one, to fight the good fight, to complete the course of the fast, to keep the faith inviolate, to crush the underfoot the heads of unseen tempters, to emerge victors over sin, and to come without reproach to the worship of your holy resurrection. For blessed and glorified is your most honorable and majestic name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit, now and forever and to the ages of ages. Amen. May the name of the Lord be praised from this time forth and to the endless ages. May the blessing, let us pray to the Lord. May the blessing of the Lord and his mercy come upon you through his divine grace and love for mankind, always, now, and forever, and to the ages of ages. Amen. Glory to you, Christ, O God, and our hope, glory to you. May Christ, our true God, through the intercessions of his most pure and holy mother, the power of the precious and life-giving cross, the protection of the honorable bodiless heavenly powers, the supplications of the honorable glorious prophet and forerunner, John the Baptist, our parish patron, the holy, glorious, and victorious martyrs, our venerable and God-bearing fathers, the holy and righteous ancestors of God, Joachim and Adam, and of Saint Epsychios, whose memory we keep today, and of all the saints, have mercy on us and save us, for he is good and loves mankind. I will bless the Lord at all times. His praise shall be ever on my lips. My soul shall glory in the Lord. Let the meek hear and rejoice. Magnify the Lord with me and let us exalt his name together. I sought the Lord and he heard me and delivered me from all my fears. Approach the Lord and be enlightened and your face shall never be ashamed. This wretched man cried out and the Lord heard him and delivered him from all his afflictions. The angel will stand guard around those who fear the Lord and save them. Taste and see how good the Lord is. Blessed is the man who hopes in him. Fear the Lord, all you as faithful ones, for those who fear him shall want for nothing. The rich have become poor and hungry, but those who seek the Lord shall not lack any good. Come, children, hear me. I will teach you the fear of the Lord. Which of you desires life and loves to see the good days? Keep your tongue from wickedness and your lips from deceptive speech. Turn evil away and do good and seek peace and pursue it. 
The eyes of the Lord are upon the just, and his ears are open to their pleas. The face of the Lord is turned against sinners to erase their memory from the earth. The just cried out, and the Lord heard them, and he delivered them from all their trials. The Lord is close to the brokenhearted, and he will save the humble in spirit. Many are the trials of the righteous, but out of them all the Lord will deliver them. He protects everyone and every bone in our body. Not a single one of them will be broken. The death of sinners is painful. Those who hate justice shall be damned. The Lord will redeem the souls of his servants, and none of those who hope in him shall be lost. I will exalt you, my God and King, and bless your name forever and ever. Every day I will bless you and praise your name forever and ever. The Lord is great and greatly to be praised, and to his greatness there is no end. Age after age will praise your works and proclaim your might. They will tell of the glorious splendor of your holiness. They will recount your wondrous works. They will speak of the power of your awesome deeds. They will declare your greatness. They will recall your abundant goodness and will exalt in your righteousness. The Lord is gracious and merciful. He is long-suffering and abounding in love. The Lord is good toward everyone, and his grace extends over his works. Let all your works be give thanks to you, Lord, and all your faithful ones bless you. They shall speak of the glory of your kingdom and tell of your power, to make known your might to the children of men and the glorious splendor of your kingdom. Your kingdom is a kingdom for all ages, and your dominion is for all generations. The Lord keeps faith in all his promises and hallowed in all his works. The Lord supports all who are falling and raises up all who are bowed down. The eyes of all look to you and you give them their food in due season. You open your hands and satisfy all living beings. The Lord is just in all his ways and faithful in all his works. The Lord is close to all to pray him to him, to those who call upon him in truth. He will meet the desire of those who fear him and hear his pleas and save them. The Lord keeps watch over those who love him, but the wicked he will utterly destroy. My mouth will speak the praise of the Lord and let all flesh bless his holy name forever and all eternity. Through the prayers of our Holy Fathers, Lord Jesus Christ, our God, have mercy on us and save us. Good evening. Thank you, Father Seraphim and Presbytera and our assistants for beautiful liturgy this evening. It's hard to believe we have reached the final service of our Lenten season this weekend. As we heard in the hymns, we are approaching the prelude to Holy Week with the Saturday of Lazarus. It will have the services on Saturday morning, Orthros at 8 a.m., Divine Liturgy at 9 a.m., at the Great Vespers for Palm Sunday at 5 p.m. on Saturday, and on Sunday the services for our Holy and Great Palm Sunday, Orthros at 8 a.m., and Divine Liturgy at 9, a, excuse me, Orthros at 8.45 a.m., and Divine Liturgy at 10 a.m. This evening we hear this very powerful reading from Genesis about the reunion during a time of trouble, a great famine that had plagued Egypt and all the surrounding areas. And Joseph, who had been sold into slavery by his brothers who were envious of him, who had contempt for him, who had suffered so many things because of the mistreatment by his brothers, yet God's mercy flowed through him. And his great gifts were very evident to Pharaoh and all those in the position of authority. And he was able to predict and allow the people of Egypt to have strength, fortitude, and to be able to survive a great famine which had struck their country. And for this reason, Joseph was made the second person, he who was an Israeli, was made the second person to an Egyptian pharaoh. 
And we learn from this beautiful account that when his brothers had come to him seeking mercy, he recognized them. And he recognized his own blood brother, Benjamin, and this brought him great joy and sadness at the same time. Sadness because he had longed to see his family again. Sadness for an awareness of all that had happened to him, but great joy that God's deliverance had really happened through him. So Joseph, through his spiritual discernment, through his righteousness, through his faith, and forbearance through all his struggles, was able to forgive his brothers and receive them back. What an appropriate reading we hear during this time, not of famine, but during this time of pandemic. We realize during the sixth week of, of Lent that we are here by God's mercy. We are here by God's love. We are here, even if we're not in the church, in our home churches, we are here by God's grace. And we should look at this beautiful Old Testament account, not just as a reminder of something that happened in the past, but we need to personalize this. Who has wronged us? Who has done an injustice to us? Who has gossiped against us? Who has harmed us in some way? We need to forgive them. We need to receive them back. We need to love them and moreover, show mercy on them, especially during this time of hardship. Joseph was the instrument not only of forgiveness toward his brothers who had wronged him, but he was the agent of mercy for his whole household. They were suffering during this time of famine and Joseph made sure that even though they had wronged him, they had no reason to fear him. His forgiveness was complete as he understood the mercy of God that worked through him, that God was with him, and he became an agent of, if you will, security and salvation for his family. Through our love, through our mercy, through our forgiveness, through our compassion, through our empathy, we too become agents of God's salvation. We talk so much about salvation in the church. We should not think of it as something in the abstract, as something that we only see in the Bible stories, in the lives of the saints, or in the iconography of our church, or in the dogma of our church. Salvation comes through you and me as we show love, empathy, compassion, and forgiveness toward others who have wronged us, just as Jesus Christ, our crucified and risen God, shows mercy toward each and every one of us, unworthy though we are, because of the magnitude of his love toward the world. As we approach Great and Holy Week, and may we approach in the spirit of forgiveness during this period of pandemic, let all things be forgiven. Let us reach out to our brothers and sisters and let us show mercy and gratitude to God and love for one another, for this is what is pleasing to him. Amen.